Thank you. Oh, yes. So how are you doing today? Enjoying the event? It's a uh, second day, not bad, right? Um, we're here today to talk about the collaboration that we recently announced with, together with Nokia um, about Cloud Run. My name is Iñaki Zamora, working at HP. I'm a chief technologist in the telco industries and working particularly with Nokia. My guest here, uh, Thomas Barnett. Thomas, would you mind introducing yourself? Please? Inaki, thank you very much for inviting me here to be on the booth of HPE. It's really a pleasure being here today, right, on behalf of Nokia, because we have achieved a lot, you know, in the past, should I say, 11, 12 months already. It started, you know, a year ago, yep. roughly, right? But uh, before we go into the details, yeah, my name is Thomas Barnett. You know, I'm part of the Mobile Networks Partner Cloud Run Solution uh, business unit, and uh, yeah, Let's be, you know, excited about what we are going to present here today. Thank you, Thomas. But, so, before, I mean, first we're going to have more sessions on this, and we have a demo site where, I mean, we invite you to visit and to see also a similar presentation tomorrow. Um, this collaboration, I mean, what is this, the grounds for this collaboration? I mean, between HP and before we started the collaboration on Cloud Run, HP and Nokia, we work as a strategic alliance partners together. We collaborate, meaning that we bring our technologies together to build the best solutions to the market. We also collaborate on the sales side. I mean, we join our sales forces in order to um, bring those solutions to the market and interact and with the customers. And also beyond that and beyond building products, building solutions um, and being able to sell those together, we combine also the capabilities of our joint com companies from services to delivery, etc., in order to deliver those solutions to the market together. Um, in that framework, we have been announcing recently this collaboration on Cloud Run. I can only underline what you said. It's a solution. Right, so we need to put, you know, the ingredients together, um, you know, in order to address the markets in the mobile networks, and not only for communication service providers. Right, there is also a tremendous grow, I would even say a double-digit grow, you know, in the enterprise domain, and that's mm -hmm. the reason, you know, why we're here today and exactly. building the solutions, you know, for both for both segments. Thank you, Dimas. So when we started talking about this solution we were thinking on, okay, what are the key drivers that we have behind the collaboration and building, of course, building the best solution together. But what does the best solution together mean, right? Uh, first, it's about Cloud Run. So we start with openness. I mean, there's no Cloud Run with no openness. So that's a key uh, parameter in the solution. The second one was radio performance. I mean, when we build a Cloud Run solution, we want to be in par with a classic run. Um, then... Density, I mean, we're thinking on a solution that can be deployed from rural areas up to dense urban areas. So, and how to make that in a, with a TCO efficiency, in a TCO efficient manner, it's important. Because in the end of the day, Cloud Run needs to be in par, if not at best, that, uh, better than uh, Classic Run. So, much. Right. would you like to complement that? Now, of course, you know, what is, what is my take on these four quadrants, you know, you can see here um, being presented. And you started with openness. I think what we need to do is uh, we need to differentiate the horizontal openness from the vertical openness. You may have seen that already here, you know, at Mobile World Congress, when we talk about horizontal openness, it means primarily open front hall, so that we are connecting new radios or radios from third party, you know, to baseband, right? And then this vertical openness actually means, you know, that we are separating the application, uh, the baseband software from the underlying hardware. And we will come to that one later on. You know, this is a kind of, you know, first step of flexibility and openness. Hmm. And then radio performance, um, you know, this is damned important, damned important, because our communication service providers, if you just focus on those guys, right, they're used to cell level KPIs, you know, in a classical domain. And if you're now rolling out together these cloud run mm -hmm. solutions, mm -hmm. you know, we need to make sure, you know, that we are not degradating in these KPIs, that we can deliver the same, you know, KPIs and performance they're actually used to. Correct. So, what is in the cloud run solution? In the end, we can say it's an end-to-end -end solution. I mean, we're putting an emphasis into the HP booth, into the Nokia booth, which, you know, we invite you to go and visit. We're putting an emphasis on the VDU side, but it's not only the VDU, it's an end-to-end -end solution. We start by combining our best technologies, right? In HP, we build um, workload-specific compute platform called the HP ProLiant DL110, okay? And uh, we're combining that with technologies from Nokia, 
uh, that uh, Thomas will be able to discuss uh, and, and, and la later on. Um, everything running on a CAS layer and containerized application for Cloud Run. And um, in the end of the day, um, we've done this solution. We have proven already and we've been running already the first calls on top of this solution, right? Correct. And um, Ignaki, if you allow me to maybe not to go into that detail right now, okay. right? but maybe let me try to summarize um, what are the key pillars from our perspective, from Nokia's perspective. This is first, flexibility. Second, and this is actually shown here on the upper, li upper uh, left corner, is uh, cloud native architecture. And third, you know, what was also presented on the previous slide is performance. Performance in combination with lower comparable TCO. And if you still allow me to maybe break it up a bit, you know, when we talk about flexibility, you know, we want to make sure, you know, that the cloud run solution as such we are both building here, you know, reaches maximum flexibility from a deployment perspective, rather, and, and for, for each and every use case. And then when it comes to cloud native software architecture, as you can see here on the right hand side, all is container based, you know, and what is the, how to say, benefit of being, having or having a containerized um, software you know, the cloud run solution as such can actually breeze and scale according to the performance needs and use cases, right? And then performance in combination with uh, lower comparable TCO. We have a cloud run smart NIC card, and we'll come to that one later on, mm -hmm. which offloads some of these processes. But we will take it, I guess, you know, on the next slide yep. moving forward. Back Let's to you, Naki. So... As we mentioned before, I mean, first question is bring those technologies together, build a solution that is compatible for both telco grade and also for enterprises, okay? Combining the HP compute platform with the Nokia technologies on inline acceleration and uh, application software running on top of that platform. Yeah, and you made a very, very interesting statement already. And, you know, this is the, should I say, the subtitle of this, of this slide here. Um, Nokia Cloud Run Smart NIC is an inline hardware acceleration function, you know, which is then inbuilt in the server technology of HP. So what is it all about? Now, yeah, you need to understand that radio access networks, the layer one function is the most time critical, I would even say uh, performance critical function, because in this, you know, on this layer, you know, there are very high sophisticated processes running, like for instance, um, um, LDPC checks or modulation or channel estimation, and you can name it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the important thing is, you know, that we're not loading the underlying CPUs, you know, coming, coming here from HP with the server technologies with these very critical and demanding functions. With the inline layer one accelerator, we're actually offloading, we are offloading these high performing and, and high demanding functions from the underlying CPUs, which of, of course has a performance, a cost, you know, a TCO benefits on cell level and in general. Back to you. And talking about performance, in the end of the day, we want to offload the CPU by doing all those level one specific uh, uh, processing into the, into the accelerator card. But uh, once we offload the CPU, okay, there are things that we can do still with the CPU. So we can increase the density on the system by having multiple uh, accelerator cards into a single system, we can put up to three into a single uh, DL, uh, HP DL3 uh, 110 uh, server. And um, in the end of the day, the CPU will be processing more radio bearers, more radio networks. Right. And, and this translates immediately into lower energy consumption. This is important, right? Because we can re really reduce on a cell level up to minus 30%, you know, the cost <laughs> per cell. And this is damned important. And of course, all needs to be operated. Right? That means we need to talk about how to manage it, how to do life cycle management you know, of the complete solution. Maybe you can say a word on that one. And that's exactly where I wanted to go, right? I cool. mean, we, from our joint expertise on managing infrastructure, managing the application, and in this case, the cloud run application from the Nokia side, we combine that knowledge into building also the management layer for the solution, right? So the solution is not just the VDU, it's not the VCU, it includes the entire lifecycle management for the, um, for the, for the entire solution. Second, um, other management functions that we need to have, definitely fulfillment, assurance, orchestration. Right. 
and even security, right? It's an, an important topic. Right? Security is a key topic. Absolutely, which is going through end to end, you know, to the entire cloud run solution. Correct. Right? We're putting innovations we're bringing into our uh, Gen 11 platforms today on security. We had it since uh, Gen 10, but we're enhancing those in order to bring extra security into that for Nox, that will be that box that you deploy in an edge site. So, and if, of course, we're also making sure, you know, this is, this, how to say, seamless integrated, you know, so that we will deliver a solution to the, should I say, customers, either CSPs or enterprises. So, this is damn support because they rely on us. They rely on the expertise of HPE. They rely on the expertise of Nokia. So, let's put, you know, the best things together in order to have really an outperforming and compelling solution for exactly. our customers, right? Exactly. And, I mean... Let's go and see it. I mean, we invite you to go and see the demonstration in our HP booth. Um, also, please uh, do not hesitate to go visit the Nokia booth and, and uh, inquire our experts on the solution. Yeah, I'm really excited. That's what I need to tell you, actually, about the whole Mobile Work Congress this year, right? And then the booth here at HP. And I would also like to invite you, all of you, please join us, you know, at the end of the hall on the other side, you know, on the Nokia on the Nokia stand, you will find, you know, our solutions there, here and there, you know, and this already underlines to a large extent, you know, how closely we work together in order to make that happen. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you very much. And um, I think one important topic I, need, and I think we need to mention still, and this is not just slideware, isn't it? Right, it's because, because we have proven it already in our labs, right? For instance, in North America, right? right. And you can also experience it here in our booth. So we have done layer three call, you know, and, and we are, have gone through this stack. So that means, you know, we have already reached to a large extent the same uplink, downlink throughput, you know, on that solution we have actually experienced already, you know, in the classical domain. And I think this is a perfect closing. Thank so you very much. Contact us if you have comments, questions. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for having us here.